literally for free speech, and now we're in a room, and now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but you get the awesome chair. I get the awesome you, chair. You get the awesome chair. Excuse me, it's on. It's on here because I wrote it on the computer. I am proud of. Sorry. Sorry. <coughs> I love you, Anita. <laughs> I am proud of all that we have accomplished so far. And now that things seemingly get tougher, the powers that be get more fearful. And the future, at least for me, seems like an indefinite question mark. One thing is certain, fear will not and cannot move us. It may live inside us, it may poke and prod us while we sleep, eat, and work, but it can't move us from this place of determination, this place of hope that we all have come together to fight for. Fear is but a distraction used when all else has failed, when anger, brutality, and oppression no longer keep us silent. Yet it is also fear that drives those things. It is out of fear that people with a false sense of power move. Our power, though, doesn't rely on pieces of paper labeled as currency, or the size of our yachts, or even the offices that we hold. Our power is very real. It is the power of our presence, our voices, and direct actions that have resulted in very real change throughout not only this community, but this nation and this world. We must never give up the power of the people. This is our lives and our world. We are the 99% and we will have the final say.